This video is going to use, we're going to use estimating, adding, and subtracting fractions. Use estimation to add, su add and subtract fractions. So, Trey's mother was buying ribbon to decorate wreaths for the holidays. She bought three-fourths of the yard of red ribbon, three-fourths silver. What fraction of the yard represents all of the ribbon that she bought? So, three-fourths. No whole number in front of it, so we're going to estimate first. That's zero and one. 0 and 1. And so 3 fourths, where would that fall? We're talking about fourths, halfway would be 2 fourths. 3 fourths is right there. I think that's probably closest to 1. Yes, even though it would only be a spot over that way, but when in doubt, I move forward. Alright, again here, we've got 3 fourths. There would be two fourths, one half. There's three fourths, again, to one. So, really, about how much ribbon should she have? One plus one equals two. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, what if it's not? So, uh, it was red and silver. So, we got this red ribbon here. Got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. All of this is red. Well, then she bought another three fourths. Another one right there, right here. Five fourths, six fourths. So, look, here's our other ribbon. It was silver. So it was one whole and then five fourths. That's kind of weird. How else can we write that? Let me extend that page right there. What if we started with one fourth? Two fourths. Ah, remember, two fourths is equal to one half. So one and a half or six fourths. Either way is fine. Now I'm going to go up to the top and I want to show you guys this as well. What if I were to take this spot right here and fill it in there and made this four fourths? How much would be left over here? Two fourths. 4 fourths plus 2 fourths, same denominator, keep it the same, equals 6 fourths. 4 fourths is equal to 1 whole, plus 2 fourths, well 2 fourths is the same as 1 half, so 1 plus 1 half equals 1 and a half. Guys, isn't that exactly what we got? It is. Alright, skip you. So let's try this one. Katie wants to add sprinkles to 11 twelfths of the cupcakes. She already added sprinkles to 5 twelfths. What fraction still needs sprinkles? So, 5 twelfths. 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's what she's already done. Okay. Then we want to continue those sprinkles. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So, it wants us to estimate first. Okay. So, here is zero, and there's one. And we've got five twelfths, one twelfth, Two, three, four, five twelfths. Hmm. Well, six twelfths. Let's use a black for that. Six twelfths is equal to one half, so five twelfths is about one half. Okay. And we need. 
I'm saying uh, we want to figure out how much more to get to 11 twelfths. So I would think 11 twelfths. Let's uh, finish writing this in here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 twelfths. It's really close to 1. So let's say that was about 1. So if she sprinkled pretty much all of them and only did half, so she has about half to go. And half of 12 would be it's got about 6 twelfths to go. Well, let's solve it using the number line. Got 0 to 1. Here we've got um, 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's how much she has done. We need to get all the way to this point right here, 11. So how many more is that? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six more. Six twelfths more. Hey, look at that. It's exactly what we estimated. Let's look at our picture here. So she did five twelfths, and she still has one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. So I feel pretty confident that we were right on that.